for of beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, hopefully you are watching this in black and white because this is the continuation of the My Pick series. And I am delighted to once again be collabing with my 24 hour clock buddy, Kaylee. She has chosen the photo this time. So, if you want to find out exactly which photo she suggested, how this looks in glorious Technicolor, which palette or palettes we used, and then my friend, you are in precisely the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy. Oh, and uh, if you're my regular little disliker, try being brave and leaving a comment telling me why you don't like my video, instead of just sitting thumbs down and running away like a boy pinging your bra in the playground. That's all. Enjoy. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right. Hopefully that was in black and white because this is the continuation of my pick series, my photo inspiration series. Uh, there's only two rules in this series. You can only use colours in the picture. And number two, you don't have to use all the colours if you don't want to. Um, I'm delighted that once again I am collabing with the beautiful Kaylee, my 24 hour clock buddy. Um, and she has chosen this gorgeous picture here, which is the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland, spelled M-O-H-E-R. Now, my husband and I went to Ireland for our, for our um, honeymoon, so Ireland has a very soft spot in my heart. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to doing this. Uh, very, very simple colours. So I've, I've only grabbed two palettes out. Um, I've grabbed my Be Perfect Carnival palette, the original one, not the XL, because I've got kind of cliff sort of earth colour here, um, and I've got the, the deep sea and the sky over here. The only issue I might find is that these greens are not quite the right shade of green for the grass, so I've grabbed my Pinky Rose a Bright Lights palette because I reckon that vibrant green there is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, so now I have the great fun of working out what I'm actually going to do. As usual, I haven't got a Scooby how I'm going to do this look yet. <laughs> Regular viewers will know this, I, unless I'm doing a specific look. Um, I will come in with absolutely no clue what I'm doing and kind of make it up as I go along. But that's how this channel works. Um, this is a teaching channel that combined with my chronic pain it means I go quite slowly. Um, I talk you through step by step and I zoom in very very tight. If I am going too slowly for you, there is a speed widget. Please use it. Um, I'm going to zoom you in in just a moment and talk you through the difference between deep set eyes and hooded eyes, as I always do, because um, it is important that you know which type you have so you know exactly how to work around it and then I will start putting some colour on my face. So, for those of you who are regulars and already know what I'm about to say about eye shapes, uh, do feel free uh, to fast forward until you see me wave a brush at you that has colour on it. Right, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. As always, 
for my primer. I use this one by uh, 3B, Neat 3B, the Face Saver Gel. It's actually an antiperspirant which chronic pain causes sweating. Fibro, you don't really have control over your body temperature, you're either freezing hot, freezing hot, freezing cold or boiling hot. You, your body can't decide which it wants to do. Um, and also side effect of the meds that I'm on that cause me to sweat a lot on my face as well. So, if I don't use a antiperspirant primer, any foundation I put on, I'll be dripping off of my chin in about oh, 20 minutes or so. Um, I have got a film linked below where I talk to you more about that. I buy it myself. I wish I earned commission on it, the amount of people that actually have gone on to buy it since I've recommended it. Um, I do have my eye primer though. I do have a discount for this for you. This is the Crow and Pebble eye primer. I use the white one, which is blank page cotton. They do it in six shades. White is the lightest, deep chocolate brown and black are at the other end of the spectrum and then there's three skin tone shades in between. So you're going to be able to find something that works for you. Uh, the reason I like it, I apply it with a just a, a blender brush that you would use your eyeshadows for. Blend that all out over my eye. It goes on dry so you can blend straight away so you don't have to set it. Which means you don't have to make that choice between do I want it to be able to blend on it straight away or do I want vibrant colour. I do have a discount code for that. I do believe now that I actually earn pebbles every time someone um, buys from it, which means next time I buy some, I may indeed get a discount off of my next order, but I don't actually earn commission. Um, anybody who shops with Crow and Pebble can, uh, you get, oh, sorry, pain. I'm actually recording starting to record much later in the day than I normally do simply because I've been waiting for the painkillers to kick in and they haven't um, anyone who shops at Crow and Pebble gets a referral link where the first time somebody uses your link they can save I think 20% on their order and you earn pebbles back from it uh, but you only earn the pebbles once and you can only use the code once whereas with my code you save, it's either 10 or 15%, I can't remember which. Um, but you can use it again and again and again. So, there we go. Full disclosure, all of my discount codes are listed below and they all state very clearly whether I earn from them or not. Right. Difference between hooded and deep set eyes. Now, I've got deep set eyes. A lot of people with my eye type are told or mistakenly believe that they have hooded lids. Now the reason for this is because we have the same issues. We have transference of shades from the mobile lid to the upper lid. If we're cutting our crease we have to cut onto the upper lid not just through the socket and if we're using glitter, even with glitter glue, get a bare patch right through there. But they are two very different eye types and the workarounds for them are very different. I actually know someone who's got one hooded eye and one deep set eye, so she needs to use both workarounds. So, I'm going to talk you through the difference now so that you know. With my brows relaxed, looking straight ahead, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it, so I haven't got hooded lids. So only if your upper lid completely covers right down to the lash line, part or all of this mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demo this side because this is the side that I don't see with so when I close the eye I can still make sure I'm on screen. If I cover my mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much if not more lid space that tucks back away in the crease. And if I cover the static lid and do the same, you can see again there, I've got a lid that tucks back away. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that people with hooded lid gets. 
and that's why so many people believe they've got hooded lids when they haven't. Right. If you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, and sketch out on your static lid a new crease line. Obviously, this is going to reduce the space between your new crease and your brow, so use slightly smaller blending brushes, and if necessary, take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap. With deep set eyes, what we need to do when we're putting a colour through the crease is to relax our brows and just make sure we've brought it up high enough that we can see it when our eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different eye types. I am going to start putting some colour on my face. I'm going to actually try, because I haven't tried this palette yet, with a natural haired brush. So I'm going to go in with one of my natural hair brushes. If it doesn't work, I'll go to a synthetic. This is the Jeffrey Morphe. Uh, this is actually the... Which one? I've got, I've got the wrong one out. Hang on. Yeah, oh, I did this one first. This is still Jeffrey Morphe. This is still... Uh, natural hair. Shush, don't be so damn rude. How dare you message me while I'm busy. Uh, this is the JS5 the renewed version. I have the JS5 in the original version because I bought the 5 and the 6 when he first launched them. wasn't impressed at all. However, the 5 and 6 in the new version with the plain pink handles, not the diamond cut ones, are actually quite good. Right. So, I think I'm going to start with the sea. I think I'm going to start with the deep blue of the sea. So I'm going to go into the shade called Mood in this palette. Quite dusty, so I'm tapping quite a bit off. And if you're fast forwarding, now's the time to stop. I'm going to just... Very lightly run this in circular movements across the eye, bounce in the middle, and then reverse the direction to come back out again. I'm just going to windscreen wipe her through the crease. I do struggle here and here both sides with dry patches. So far, this is actually blending quite nicely. Right, I shall continue now to chat to you about the lovely Kaylee. Um, she's been commenting in my films for quite a while, and then we were in a couple of multi channel collabs together. And uh, I absolutely love the woman, she's, she's got an amazing sense of humour. She produces some beautiful looks. Uh, she recently duped the Melt uh, Muerte palette, the new one, which I'm really pleased she did because I've been really wanting that Muerte palette and I had the feeling I was going to cave and buy it even though I can't really afford to. But seeing her dupe it has made me think, actually, a friend of mine, Kay, has bought me for Yule, which means I can open it a few days before Christmas, <laughs> um, has bought me the Kaleidos Turquoise palette. So I've got all five of the, the Futurism palettes that they've done. Um, cause I've, I've bought the other four myself and she bought me that as a present to complete the set for me. So with the turquoises that I've got in there, to be quite honest, this blue and I bought a lot of blue and green palettes last year, or this year rather, over the past 12 months. 
Um, I've got reds because obviously I've got blood sugar. I've also got blue blood as well. So I can actually dupe the Moato palette myself. Okay, I can't dupe it in singles the way that she did and kind of put it together as a um, a palette in a you know magnetised uh, palette but I can create the kind of looks that I was wanting to do so girl you saved me a lot of money there thank you so I'm just blending this out quite high because that C is beautiful now I am just sitting back and checking that both eyes match because obviously I'm not James Charles I don't photoshop my results I have got some tiger stripe in there where I've got these super super deep creases here from where my eye was pulled around when I was five years old at the ophthalmic hospital when they were trying to work out why I wasn't seeing properly out of it. So with this eye I do actually have to stretch it out rather than just relying on the circular movements because the circular movements very gently move your eyelid around so it stops you from getting this kind of telltale barcoding that I'd got just there. See it very gently moves the skin on your eye around that's why you go in one direction and then in the other. As I say, I'm not James Charles. I don't, um, I don't Photoshop my results. So sometimes, because your eyes are not symmetrical, you have to do slightly different shapes each side, so that they look the same. Okay, quite like that a lot. Which colour blue do I want to use? Do I want to use the blue from... Hmm. See, I think technically it's more this sort of blue, but I want to use this one. When I'm not using a colour that's not in there, blue is in there. And light blue is in there. Yes, so, Kaylee, um, I'd absolutely love the woman for ages, and like I said, then we, we did a few, I've got a clean washcloth here that I'm cleaning the bulk of the pigment off of this brush with, please don't use colour switches with natural hair brushes, they are vicious to them, I managed to kill one of my favourite natural hair brushes by using it in the colour switch, I now use a washcloth to wipe it off on or a microfiber cloth so yeah so I'd absolutely love watching Kaylee for a while um, but it was it was round about the time that I had been rebuffed quite rudely by someone that I'd asked and said that I'd love to collab with them and I'd commented on this particular person's films very regularly and I'd liked them and she'd liked comments of mine regularly so I figured she must have, although she got a lot of comments, the fact that she was consistently liking mine, I thought well she must be recognising the name anyway. Or the, you know, the avatar, because the avatar hadn't changed. Well, I've got as much of that blue off as I can. I'm now going to go in with the, actually it's called Sky in this palette. So I'm now going to go in with this one and just blend the very edges out of that deeper blue with this blue. Just to soften it as I blend it up towards the brow. Yeah, so I'd been rebuffed quite rudely. I'd put a comment on one of her films that she'd done saying oh I've got a series very similar to this on my channel um, I'd really love for, for you to take part 
And I got a very, very rude response about, I only collab with people that I know and I don't know you. Hmm. Oh, looks. Um, and it turned out she hadn't just been rude to me, she'd been rude to Anya and Nina as well, which is what caused us to start the Bitches of Eastwick group. Because we'd all been treated awfully by a bitch. <laughs> um, as I've said before, when people have asked me, I won't tell you who it is, but if you message me and guess the name right, I'll confirm your suspicions. So far, I've had two different people guess absolutely bang on with their first guess. So I'm guessing they've also seen something of her that they don't like. But, um, yeah, so it's, it was round about the time that I'd just been rebuffed very rudely, so I was kind of very hesitant to ask anybody to collab with me, because... I may come across as being confident doing this, but I'm sitting in the kitchen in an empty house chatting like a mad woman to a camera. Um, I have nowhere near the confidence that people think I'm actually very, 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 um, I have very, very high social anxiety. Uh, I struggle a lot in social situations um, and I either react to it by having a major panic attack and not leaving the house, which has happened on more than one occasion, or I'll go out but I'll sit in the corner and I'll barely interact with anybody and just hope nobody sees me, or I'll do the complete opposite and be loud and obnoxious to try and hide my social anxiety and my panic attacks and stuff. Oh, I quite like that now. Yeah. Mm, I like that. Um, yeah, so I was, I was very nervous about asking anybody to collab with me. Um, and bless her heart, she actually messaged me saying, when are we going to collab then, girl? Um, and that's how we started our collab together, which I just thought was so lovely. Um, and she is just, she's the loveliest woman, you know, she's just, she really is a stunning, stunning woman, both inside and out. Um, absolutely lovely woman, wouldn't change her for the world. Hmm. So there you go. Uh, I'm just going to... Grab a cotton bud or a q tip, as Americans and Canadians tend to go, ouch, call them. This is my charcoal micellar water. I'm just going to put the q tip in the top and just kind of like that until it the benefit of having black my cellar water as you can see when it's fully covered the q-tip I'm just going to use this just to tidy up where I've gone a little bit low on the lid just here this is a good tip for you if you don't want to have to do a full on cut crease which I don't want to do today but you have actually gone a bit low on your lid you can just clean it all off with some micellar water on a q-tip and then what I'll do, I'll let this dry and I'll apply a little bit more primer onto the eye and I'll go in with the colours that I wanted to use on my lid. Now normally you'll know I just don't bother doing this I just crack straight on with the colour but because I'm putting matte shades on the lid today rather than shimmer 
Shimashaj usually have the opacity that you need to cover up a deeper shade like that. Matte shades don't always because they haven't got the reflective nature. Just tidy up that edge. This is also giving my lids a little bit of time to, to dry off a little bit. Right now normally I will use, as you can see, a fluffy brush like this. But because I need to be a little bit more accurate now, I'm going to go in with a brush like this. I'm just going to pick up some primer on the brush. I'm going to get my little mirror to look down into so that I can see what I'm doing this side. Because obviously I can't exactly close the eye because I can't see what the heck I'm doing then. I'm just going to... blend that out on the eye. And then do the same thing oh, on the other one. And you can see what I mean about not needing much of this primer at all. In fact, I've actually found the thinner you blend it out, the better it works. But having said that, I'm still on my halfway through my second pot of it, and I've just ordered another pot. That's when I discovered that I had some pebbles I could use. Right. Um, I'm going to use a synthetic brush now. This is, it's another one of the Jeffrey Morphe brushes. But it wasn't sold as part of the sets, it was sold separately because it's their lip brush. And it's the JS24. The reason I like this is because you can get right into that inner corner without disturbing too much of the rest of your face, which is great. So... I'm going to go into the shade called Naked, still in the BH palette. Oh, that's dusty. Let's tap that off. Again, I'm going to look down into my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to pop this just on the inner part of my lid and blend it outwards. And then obviously the same this side. I absolutely have to stretch the lid out when I'm doing the mobile lid. Because otherwise the pigment sits loosely rather than being blended out nicely like this. It sits loosely in the deep creasing and then as I move my eye through the day it all ends up cascading down my face. Which is not pretty and not nice. Just clean that brush off, get the brown off of it. And then I'm going into my Bright Lights Pinky Rose palette and I'm going to go into Smash. Which is a beautiful, vibrant green. Because the way the sunlight is bouncing off the top of those cliffs, that grass just looks a stunning shade. And that's the effect that I want. And I've just managed to splay that everywhere all over my face. And this, folks, is why 
I do my base after I've done my eyes. I could of course wet the brush if I really wanted to even though it's a matte shade. But if I'm honest, I couldn't be bothered. Now if anything this eye is going to be worse because this eye moves a lot more because it got pulled around a lot more when I was a kid, although I am being more careful this time. So maybe for once I'll get less fallout this side, or maybe not. And again, just gently dragging some of that brown across onto the green so it blends together. I really, really like that. Right. I'm going to pause you, tidy up this fallout, chuck some foundation on uh, and some other base products, and I will be back to finish off this eye look. For you, my darlings, it's going to be pretty ding dang instant. For me, I've got to wait till the next time I press record before I can start chatting to you again. So, uh, don't go anywhere because here I am. Cool, I am back. Right, I'm going to grab my pinky rose palette. No, I'm not. I'm going into the BP Cosmetics one. BP Cosmetics. Be perfect. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up some of Envy, which is a deeper green, on this flat top brush, and just run this to about there on both eyes. Yes, I flinch this side because I normally end up poking myself in the eye. So obviously I don't have any peripheral vision that side. Apparently I can't speak now either. <clears throat> and then I'm going to dip into Rowdy, which is a, like a chocolate brown. So I'm kind of copying what I've got on my mobile lid, but just going deeper with it. And then what I'm going to do is grab this is my Tarte Graveyard Girl palette brush I love this flat on top but chunky so it's great for getting up under the lashes and I'm just going to dip back into the naked shade that I used on the inner corner here and use that to gently buff out the under eye just to soften those slightly deeper colours um, I'm not going to do a liner today because my eye is feeling like it wants to water again, which is marvellous. It's one of my fibro symptoms. Just want to just soften that under the eye, under the eyes there. That's lovely. Lovely, tell your mother. Right now, I'm going to go in with this little. Actually, it's a lip brush that I bought from eBay about 10 years ago. <clears throat> and I'm going to go into the shade called Moony. And I'm going to use that for the inner corner to be the sort of the fluffy white clouds and the white horses in the water. I like to carry that along just under the, the tear duct there and then I shall put a little bit of it 
just under the tail of my brow to give that a wee bit of lift. Right, I like that. Okay, I'm going to pause you for one last time. I may have to pull some curtains and put some lights on because it's got very overcast out there and my white balance is going to go haywire. So I'm going to do that, uh, put some mascara, put some fur, 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 highlighter on and choose a lippy and I will be back with my fur, 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 final look. <coughs> Hopefully I'll have learned how to speak by then. Here we go. And I am back. Okay. I used the uh, lighter of the two highlighters from this palette, the one called Saint. Um, I used the Revolution Blowout Cannabis Sativa Mascara. Lippy is NYX Suede Matte Bullet Lippy in shade Munchies. I really like this. This is so comfortable on the lip. Love, love, love it. So, this is my finished look inspired by this picture suggested by this beautiful woman. How do you think I've done? What do you think? Recreate the picture enough or would you have done it differently? Would you have concentrated more on the cliffs or the grass or... For me it was the beautiful depth of that blue sea just crashing at the bottom of the cliff that, that really called to me in this picture. But what called to you? What did you see first when you looked at that photo? Now, if you're one of my regular 4F babies, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to need you to go over to the lovely Kaylee and check out her channel and check out her film and do all those good YouTubery things. You know, like, leave her a comment, tell her you came from here. Maybe even follow her channel. In fact, no, you will want to follow her channel because if you can put up with me and you like me, you're going to love her. And also, for the Americans out there who might be interested to know this, she is actually ex-military. She has served in your forces and unfortunately only had to come out of the services due to a back injury. Back injuries, that's something we have in common. Fitness, less so. Although well, my dad is ex-army. Right, please pop over and check out her channel. If you are here from her channel, and it's the first time you've seen the, the madness that is me and my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, I hope you've made it this far and I haven't scared you off yet. If you have made it this far, I'm guessing you've endured what you've seen so far. Uh, if you're not sure and you want to check out a few more, I have got an awful lot of films you can check out. Um, or oh, failing that, there is a subscribe button. It is red. It goes grey when you click it and at the moment it's still free to do that. Uh, it, it, it is worth hitting the bell and jumping through the, the uh, myriad of hoops that YouTube want you to jump through now to get notifications. Uh, sometimes you actually get them. Isn't that nice? Right, sarcasm out of the way. Uh, I'm really glad that uh, you watched this one with me and that you enjoyed it, I hope. So, all that remains for me to say as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.